Being kicked from daytranitation.tech is a risk that we, as workers, have to be constantly aware of. And signing into the site to permanently find a blank dashboard and no access to any projects is a harsh reality that many former workers of daytranitation.tech have experienced. As you can see, I've now made over $10,000 on the site without experiencing any issues or scares. And by avoiding these 10 mistakes, you too can be successful on daytranitation.tech without living in fear of being kicked. The first mistake might seem extremely obvious, but so many people do it. And that is asking questions which are answered in the task instructions or other resources the task has made available to you, such as a list of the frequently asked questions and the answers to them. I can't believe how often I see this happening. And I get that sometimes there are things that aren't explicitly answered or some things are left up to the worker's discretion and you may not feel confident making a decision one way or another. And I'm not talking about these cases. I'm talking about where the instructions, which you obviously should be reading when doing a new task for the first time, and in the instructions, it says to do this if that happens. And then someone in the chat is asking what to do in that exact scenario or one very similar. Doing this just makes it obvious to the admins of the project that you haven't paid attention to the instructions very well. And as a result, they may take a closer look at your work if they think you may have been doing it wrong, which could lead to you getting kicked from the project and even from the site. To avoid this, if you are unsure on something, reread the task's instructions as it will most likely have been answered in there and check any other resources that the project may provide, such as a Slack chat. In Slack, there is a search function, so you can easily check if the question you have, or a similar one to it, has already been asked. Once you are sure your question hasn't already been answered in the instructions or elsewhere, then you should ask. The next mistake people make, and this is especially if you're new, and it's to be constantly changing projects. And I know sometimes it's tough to find a consistent project, especially when you've only just started on the site, but it makes it hard to get a good level of understanding for a project when you only have like an hour to read through all the instructions and do the work. And then next time you are doing the same, but on a different project. So if you can, try to stick to doing the same project a few times in a row so you can really start to understand the project and produce good work. And following on from the last tips, I can't believe people don't follow the task's instructions. Bearing in mind you get paid for the time you spend reading the instructions and you can go back and reread through all or any part of the instructions you need to at any point. Not following the instructions is one of the quickest ways to get yourself kicked off of a project and potentially the site. We all might make the odd mistake with the work here and there, but to complete the work without knowing what you're supposed to be doing and just guessing if you're doing it right is crazy. Rushing through the tasks is another thing that it makes no sense to do. And whilst I get that people want it to seem that they're really good and efficient at the tasks, going through them too quickly is when you leave yourself prone to making mistakes that could put you at risk of getting kicked off. So you want to make sure that you are properly reading through the instructions, any text involved in the task, and double check your answers before you submit. The sharing of task names is another one that I've seen happen a lot on both Reddit and YouTube. This is against the site's code of conduct, which you signed and agreed to when you started work with daytranitation.tech. And although you might think there's no way it can be traced back to your account on the site, it would just be such a stupid thing to get kicked off for. The next mistake people make is using ChatGPT or similar external AIs to help them with their work on the site. Unless a project specifically asks you to use ChatGPT or similar, then do not use it. I think this is one of the most common reasons that people get kicked from the site. You will get caught if you do this. The site has so much AI going on with it, they will obviously be able to tell. The next mistake may sound a bit strange, 
but I do think it could be holding people back from earning more money on the site. And that is to only be working on the highest paying task that you have available. For me, I was working on my highest paying project exclusively for months and it paid $27.75 an hour. But after a while, it got to a point where I was only doing an hour of work on the project a day, maximum, because I kind of ran out of ideas and as a result, didn't really like the project anymore. And it seemed stupid to drop down to a lower paying project when I had my higher paying one available. But eventually, I did drop down to a lower paying project, which was easier and I had loads more ideas for and I was able to earn more each day from the site than I had for months. So it's just something to think of if you're feeling burnt out on a project. This next mistake is one that I'm not sure many people will make, but it will get you kicked from the site if you do it. And that is overinflating the time you log on the site. So you're getting paid for more than the actual work time that you did. I know how this could be tempting for people to do, as you log your own time and it feels like there are no checks on it. But it's really not worth getting kicked from the site for and you may not even get the money in the end as well, as we can see from these images. Next is getting too relaxed with the work. This could be by not concentrating on the work causing your quality to drop. Or it could be getting more relaxed with when you pause your timer, which links back to the last point. But things like this could cause you to start losing access to projects and leave your dashboard looking like this. Finally, I'd say taking this work for granted is a mistake that we all make. Daytranotation.tech is an amazing opportunity that we are lucky to be a part of. And although it is work, it's one of the best paying side hustle sites which offers a pay rate and level of freedom with the hours worked that I've not seen replicated elsewhere yet. And daytranotation.tech is likely not going to be around forever. Just this past month, we've seen a large amount of people losing access to their projects for multiple days and some even permanently. So make the most of the opportunity and get the work in whilst you know you can. I recently made $300 on the site in one day and I reveal how I was able to do so in the video here where I go in depth on how to gain access to higher paying tasks as well as manage your time effectively. Or to see which non daytranotation.tech side hustles I'm trying or have tried in the past, check out my not daytranotation.tech playlist here.